Well, hello, internet passersby, and welcome back to another episode of Nap. I'm your host, Rebel Notorious, and today, as always, joining me as Sean. Hello. And Melina. Hello. I really... It's weird because it's going to swap when you swap sides. Yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's a concern for future Sean, yeah. Michael, and Melina. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about our comfort movies. Um, mm. We all love film. Oh that's, yeah, you know, oh, yeah. film is kind of our thing. Yeah, it's our bread <laughs> and butter when it comes to conversation. Um, when we're not talking about it, it's a little silent. Silent, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we're great friends. So we're going to be going over our five um, comfort movies. Yeah. You know, the ones that we watch when. You just want to watch something if you feel happy. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. It could be, it could be sick. That's basically mm-hmm. what I've yeah. got my yeah. into. Like, if I'm sick, what am I going to pick up? Yeah, to, like, just make me get through the day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think the way we're going to do this is we'll just start from, I guess, left to right, yeah. and uh, yeah. we'll do one at a time mm-hmm. rather than go through everyone's list because we, we've done that, you know, in the past yeah, couple exactly. episodes. So we'll spice it up. To be yeah. different. Yeah. So. I'm going to start off. At you. So Molina's Great. on my left, so she's starting. Uh, the B movie. Uh, I <laughs> fucking knew <laughs> it. I've talked about this before, how to me, if I watch the B movie, it feels like 10 minutes have passed. Mm-hmm. And it's just such a nice way to spend an evening where you're like full of anxiety or just feeling like shit. And you just want time to pass without <laughs> being aware of things. Yeah. So you just put on the B movie. Like, as Not much as you think, yeah. like, you'd get sick of it. There's so much, like, stupidness in it that you're so willing to rewatch it. I've seen it, like, twice and I'm sick of it. I don't know how you could be. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm in the middle here because I understand how you could be sick of it. And yet I've watched it more times than I'm comfortable with. Yeah. So th- that's w- that's why it's just a comfort movie. I put it on when I like high on anxiety or I have a big thing to do tomorrow. <laughs> You're gonna say I put it on when I'm high. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that would be a pretty good way yeah, to watch yeah, it. Yeah, well. yeah. Yeah. I I honestly recommend it if you have like a big presentation or project coming up. Just wind down. Get the me movie going. Or watch no. literally any other movie. <laughs> <laughs> just, no. <laughs> Shrek. Like better. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um, I feel like Shrek is more of a commitment than the B movie is. Is it though? To me, if I watch Shrek in the, in the coming days, I'll watch the other Shreks. Nah, see, to me, there's only one Shrek movie. Well, you're wrong. No, there's two. Yeah. I don't like any of the ones past <gasps> the first are one. You, are you serious? Are you, kidding you, you don't me? like Shrek two? To be fair, I don't think I've seen Shrek two since <gasps> I was ten. You need 10. to see what? Shrek two. Again. No, let me finish. Oh, okay, <laughs> you did say again. I was gonna say let me finish. Yeah. Like, in ten years. Um, yeah, I don't think I've seen it recently. Oh, you need to. But yeah. I, don't, I don't remember enjoying it as much as the first one. But I, I, you will I enjoy it more now. I think I've mentioned I'm not a huge Shrek eh, lover. Fair. Um, I grew up mainly with Shrek 2 mm-hmm. instead of Shrek 1, so Same. obviously I'm going to have a lot more love for that just off yeah. the bat. Mm-hmm. But Shrek, <sighs> Shrek 2 is just so good. It's Some just of the so best good. Music. It's so funny. Yeah. Anyway, that's not my <laughs> first comfort yeah, movie. My first one, B movie. Mm. I like how I don't think any of us have Shrek on our comfort movie. No. Not even me, and like we've somehow gotten Shrek. Mm. In yeah, <laughs> I think because I'd take that over B movie. Okay. Uh, so my first one is Need for Speed, which I don't think either of you have seen. No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> th- this is such a strange movie. Like, it's not great. But it has such a like stacked cast. Mm-hmm. It has Aaron Paul at the height oh, wow. of post Breaking Bad fame. Uh, this was like a year after Breaking Bad ended. Uh, so I think it came out in 2014 and Breaking Bad ended in 2013. Mm-hmm. I do remember seeing like posters for this movie. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'd be like, really? They made a need for speed? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it basically like ha- it has Aaron Paul. Uh, it has A-A-Ron. Michael <laughs> Keaton. It has Dominic Cooper, mm. um, and as it Imogen puts, I think is the the girl that's in it. Um, yeah, it's such a strangely stacked cast. You've also got like uh, not Ludacris because he's in. Um, I thought you were gonna say Lupin. No, he's <laughs> in he's in Fast and Furious. There's is it Kid Cudi? Kid Cudi. I would know. Know. It's another perform artist or whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's also got, oh, what was his name from, he played Freddie Mercury. 
Oh, Rami Malek. Yeah, yeah. Rami Malek. it's got Rami Malek in wow. it as well. That is a good cast. Yeah, yeah that's surprising. Bizarrely good. good for like a very mundane, run-of-the-mill <laughs> racing movie. Mm. Because it's basically like uh, Aaron Paul's dad used to own a garage. Well, he did, he owned a garage. He passed away. Aaron Paul inherited it. They're not making a lot of money because you know it was his dad's yeah. garage and he was the draw. Mm. Uh, Dominic Cooper is the the hometown boy that got the big break in racing. He comes yeah. back to town. They have an antagonistic relationship. Because of course oh, yeah. they they get into a race with um, I think it's it's a Koenigsegg, uh, a Gera R. You know the the really fast Koenigsegg yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah. Um, with him and uh. One of Aaron Paul's friends in it, um, who's the little sister of his, like the 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 guy from out who mm -hmm. moved out of town, his yeah, yeah. his girlfriend. It's his little, it's her little brother. They get in a race. Aaron Paul's about to win, and Dominic Cooper's character is like dead last, and mm -hmm. he's pissed off. So he nudges the back of this kid's car, and it flips, and the kid dies. Oh, okay. Oh. And Aaron Paul goes to jail for it because Dominic Cooper drives away and Jesus. Aaron Paul goes back to rescue him because, you know, yeah. it's his best friend. Mm -hmm. um, so, oh. fast forward to him getting out of prison. They... Revenge. Yeah, <laughs> so they had built together a Mustang. Need for vengeance. <laughs> they built a Mustang, which was apparently the last one that Ford and Shelby were working mm -hmm. on before Ford or Shelby, whatever one passed away. There's way too much lore to this movie. Yeah, I did not expect <laughs> this yeah. deep a plot. Especially for a movie that's got need for speed. Yeah, I mean it's based off the video games. Isn't it's, it? I think it's. I think this one mainly takes inspiration from the run, uh, which is the one where they go kind of coast to coast. Okay. Um, and so he gets out of prison. He contacts the person who bought the car to say, "Can I borrow the car?" <laughs> <laughs> and the person's just like, "Sure." Ah. Uh, Why not? Such a Why not? Reaction. Yeah. So, the car shows up with Imogen Poots' character, who's like, I can't just let you take the car on your own, I have to be there. And it's like, okay, here's the, here's the generic love interest. Mm -hmm. And so, it's then Aaron Paul's character trying to gain the attention of Michael Keaton's character, who's, like, who's called the Monarch. He's a mysterious mm -hmm. person who runs a race called the De Leon, which you, if you win, you win every car that was in that race. Oh, right. And it's invite only. <laughs> so... It's, it's that, that's the movie, it's him trying to get the attention of him to get in the race and then race to beat Dominic Cooper's character and prove that he killed his friend. But, so he, he's going to prove it by winning? Yes. What? He tries to goad him into racing with the car that he was in. Yeah, but how, how would he know? Because the, the car has a scratch mark ah, on it from where okay, it yeah, yeah. Then it makes sense. The, yeah. I, I was like... Oh, once, once I win, he will just have to admit. <laughs> <laughs> He'll confess. In the end, Aaron Paul's character ends up racing in that car because the the girlfriend, who was the brother of the mm -hmm. kid that died, gives finds out that he's been keeping the car that had the paint mark on mm -hmm. it, so she knows that he killed him. So he she gives Aaron Paul's character the car and he races in that because the Mustang gets wrecked. It's a way deeper okay. movie than you expect. Yeah. But it's like, it's fun. It just kind of... Cargo woo. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> zoom, zoom. <laughs> That's pretty much why I watch it. They do some crazy stunts and it's like got some really cool practical effects and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I don't think anyone expects that deeper movie. No, when not they go at all. Need for speed. No. Like, it's got a, like a decent story. I get why it got bad reviews. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and a stacked cast. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So anyway, that's that's Need for Speed. <laughs> okay. So uh, just before I start off my list, I want to say the majority of these are animated films. Mm -hmm. One of which is okay. an anime. <laughs> okay. It's don't get excited. It's, not, it's 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 one of the. Problem. I don't have any expectations. Okay, cool. <laughs> but uh, starting this off with the only live action film okay. I have in my comfort movies as of this date because they shift around all the time mm -hmm. and this isn't even sure. like most of them mm -hmm. yeah uh parent trap ah. wow because uh i'm gonna be honest I'm, it's gonna be hard for me to describe why these are comfort mm -hmm. movies because mm -hmm. they're just 
like I said, comfort movies for me can just shift all the time. It mm -hmm. really just feels me. It's really all about what I feel in the moment. Yeah, is what yeah, a comfort yeah, movie yeah. to me. But Parent Trap always reminds me specifically of like getting an old like video because this was like I think recorded off TV. Mm. The way we watched it and like so like you put it in and you just find out whatever movie comes up. And Parent mm -hmm. Trap was one that I think I first just watched with like my sister or whatever mm -hmm. my older sister, and it just brings up. Better. Simpler times, yeah. basically. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. <laughs> Watch at simpler times uh, for like me and just like a nice fun movie to just mm -hmm. chill in. Lindsay Lohan's career before it got wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just getting that out of the way now. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a fun movie. It's, yeah. it's just nice, charming is I yeah. think the best way to describe it. It's just, mm -hmm. it's all fuzzy and nice. <laughs> and Disney. <Aww. laughs> Gives you that warm embrace. Yeah, exactly. It's like a like a warm hug. Yeah. In VHS. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't watch it any other way other than that because it just feels wrong. Yeah. Uh, I say as I've watched it on Disney Plus multiple times. I was gonna say <laughs> it's definitely on Disney Plus. Yeah. I've been all over that. Mm. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. That's basically what I have to say about my first entry. For my first second entry. <laughs> Your first second entry. My first second entry. Um, a movie we will all know, Captain America, First Avenger. Okay. I was very tempted to put one of the Captain America movies in my yeah. list, but I was like, someone else is going to say yeah. that. I so. thought about putting a Marvel in and then realized I don't really watch them for comfort. Because yeah, if I watch that's one just of them... this one that I watch mm. for comfort. It, I, I don't know why, even. It's one of the first ones I think I've ever seen mm -hmm. of the Marvel movies, and it's it's just so disconnected from everything that when yeah. I finish it, I don't feel like I have to watch any of the others. Mm. I can just leave it there and just have a good time, you know. Yeah. It's great cast, great story. We all enjoy the movie, I'd mm -hmm. say. Yeah, yeah. It's just happy feelings. I mean, <laughs> I've, I always, like, loved First Avenger, mm -hmm. like, a lot. Like, that's just been... One of the more underrated ones, I'd say. Mm. I, I don't know what exactly I like about it, but it's just something really nice about it. So yeah, so I, I, get it. I do like First Avenger as well, but I think like whenever I watch a Marvel movie, I know I'm going to have to watch through at least that phase. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the Spider-Man ones are maybe the only ones I could watch in isolation, uh, even though Far From Home's like an epilogue to yeah. Endgame. I think for me, if I was to put like a Marvel comfort movie for me, it'd be the Ant-Man films. Those oh, ones feel yeah. like they're yeah. pretty good in isolation. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. And I could just sit down, turn the nerd brain off and just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Even Guardians, I'd say. You, yeah, you do have, yeah. kind of have the feel like, I want to watch the next one. Yeah. yeah. But they're very good on it in, like by themselves. To me, Ant-Man feels like a more smaller movie oh, yeah <laughs> understandably yeah. yeah 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 sorry no <laughs> i don't know what you're saying sorry i'm, I'm sorry because i feel like i've just overtaken the, the no no don't worry that's that. what we're here for yeah yeah yeah, yeah so it, i we're both all marvel fans i just wanted to have that one entry mm. yeah that was like you know marvel is comfort <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> that's fair that's fair um so for my second entry i have hot fuzz Oh, Good choice. oh yes. Because yes. if I if I just wanna enjoy a great comedy film, mm -hmm. I'll stick this on. Yeah, come on, sure. fuzz. <laughs> Cause it, it's just it's even if you're not paying full like attention to it, you know, you're just wanting a potato on mm -hmm. the bed and watch a movie. Yeah. It's funny and it's clever and like it 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 appeals to the stupidest of people. Yes. <laughs> like, it's, it's great because Hot Fuzz can is a movie you can watch both as just a turn brain mm -hmm. off and only mm -hmm. funny mode and a super analytical yes, way as well. Because it yeah. is a very amazing movie. And I mean, you know, Edgar Wright. We, oh, we yeah. all talk very highly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I love the, the Cornetto trilogy as a whole, mm -hmm. but I feel like I'm going for mm -hmm. one of them. It's, it's Hot Fuzz. It's I, hot I think fuzz. that's, yeah. yeah. Shaun that's of the Dead is a close second. For mm. sure. Um, I, world, I do like A World's End, but I but think it is it's... it is just clearly below the... It's still very good. Yeah. But the other two are just amazing, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A World's End is good, but it's a little lackluster in comparison to the mm -hmm. other two. Um, Say At World's End or The I World's End? I don't know what that 
actual time. It's. I think it's the. I think it's just world's end. No, I think it's the, the world's, world's end. end. And at world's end, I don't end know what I mean. Pirates of the, the Caribbean movie. Yeah. That's why yeah. I was brought up. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I've been saying to be honest. I've just been <laughs> sorry. I just I noticed that and I was like, isn't that the Pirates of the Caribbean? I've maybe been mm. saying it by accident. I haven't been paying too much it's, attention. It's fine. It's not that big a deal. I just couldn't help <laughs> noticing it. I'm being a nitpicky um, bastard. Yeah. So yeah, hot fuzz. I don't. I, I really great don't need movie. to say much more no, about it than that. that you know, uh, great buddy comedy. If you've not seen it, go watch it I right now. Watch yes. It. Yeah. Okay. So my second pick suddenly right out of left field. I'm bringing in an Ardman movie. Okay. But it's not Wallace and Gromit or anything like that. Or is it Chicken Run? It's oh, Chicken Run is it now. Early Man? No. I'm going straight in with fucking Flushed Away. Oh. Because I love that movie. I have not I don't about understand. this movie in so long. I don't like it. I don't know how you don't like it. I just, look. That movie's great. It gave me nightmares as a kid. I, I have to rewatch it. I haven't seen it since. Oh, I don't know how the hell you got nightmares from it. <laughs> other than, I guess... There's, the a, there's, a, there's a frog that's French, but uh. I don't think that'd give you nightmares because <laughs> you're not that much of a drama queen. Uh. No, I think she is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't... I, I can't fully justify this, I'll be honest. Mm. I, there's, there's just something about the movie that just, like... It's got to be nostalgia. I re mm. recognise it's got to be nostalgia. Mm -hmm. But, like, that's a movie I will... I mainly watched, like, as, like, a family thing with, like, just my cousins and yeah. like mm -hmm. friends and stuff like you just put it on just and laugh to when you were a kid so mm -hmm. it's probably that yeah but the, even to this day there are still parts where like i'll quote it in my head in <laughs> given situations and if uh. that's not love i don't know what else <laughs> i can call it so yeah no real justification mm. for that one i just love flushed away mm. if i was if it's if i was smarter today i would have probably put Wallace and grom at curse of the word rabbit yeah because i like fair. that movie as well but Flushed Away was just the first one that came to my head mm. when I thought comfort movie. So yeah. I had to. Mm -hmm. oh there we God. go. Yeah. Next one is shit. I just want to say it's a shit movie. Oh, I thought oh, you were right just going to say the film's called shit. Uh, yeah, I, I would love to have shit. a film's <laughs> called shit. Uh, That's what I'm naming my movie. <laughs> so it's it's called The House Bunny. Explain. What? So it's about an ex-playboy girl. How did I know it was Why did I like know that? that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's played by Anna Faris. I okay, know, you know. no, I know who that is, yeah. yeah. Um, it's so stupid. She gets, like, she's too old to be a playboy, which all turns out to be, like, fake and stuff. And so she's kicked out of the playboy mansion and goes to live in a sorority. But, like, the sorority oh. of misfits. And she tries to fix them. She tries to make them hot. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's the premise of the movie. Cool. Yeah. I, I kind of want to see it. I'm going to be it honest. It is horrible. Acting, like, I think Anna Faris has spoken about it, that she's like, it's a hilariously bad performance on purpose. Okay, sure. And it's like, Emma Stone is in there. What? what? I know. Like, I watched it, I was like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> You're, you have actual talent. Yeah. Don't waste it here. And I, I don't know why it became a comfort movie, to be honest. I just find myself re-watching it, but, like, in the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, like, you know, it's the classic, like, teen feel-good movie. There's a boy she likes, but she's so stupid. She has to study oh for God. her date. Even though, in the end, she's perfect the way she is. Yeah. As, as the, the classic girl with glasses on that gets the... Becomes immediately hot. Just yeah. What do you think, Emma Stone's <laughs> Is that Emma Stone's character? <laughs> okay. I bet she looks better with the glasses on as well. Most likely. I mean, they, they, they put an effort to make her look like the misfit, you know? Okay. Everyone gets a makeover and looks great in the end, you know? I mean, they look great before, but you know how it is. Yeah. It's those yeah. movies. So yeah, simple classic story. Classic tropes. Yeah, mm. just love a good classic trope. I'm sorry, I'm currently checking if this is anywhere to stream. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be on Netflix. That's how it's I found it. It's not now, it. though. Aww. I mean, it, it was back home and like beginning of Netflix. Uh, it's not. On you know, when they either. had very few movies and you're just kind of stuck having to watch what they had. Yeah. That's how I found it's... it. Oh my god! Yeah, that that cast is kind of impressive. I know, right? There's probably some other big names in there yeah. that I, I, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I, I need to I need to hunt that out and find <laughs> that. Yeah, I kind of want to watch when it. When you do, send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so my next movie is... 
The Breakfast Club, probably one of the most Classic. basic comfort yeah. movies. Yeah. Um, I mean, just because it's basic doesn't mean it's not true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, John Hughes, great, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, great director and writer. Um, Fuck, I should have put Home Alone on this list now. <laughs> I, I was, I was thinking of that, and I'm like, nah, I only really watch it at Christmas, so I, can, I wanted mm. to avoid putting seasonal ones on. Fair enough. Because yeah. I think Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas probably would have ended up on there. Uh, okay. The Exorcist, if I, <laughs> if I allowed that as well. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a weird one if I'm mentioning that as a comfort I mean, movie. To but... be fair, uh, when I watched Halloween for the first mm-hmm. time, that strangely enough would could possibly be a comfort yeah, movie. I've probably... been very tempted to put on late at night, mm. just on the background. Mm. Yeah. As, as a nice thing mm. to watch. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm, I'm currently fighting the urge to watch the Nightmare on Elm Street films again because I know I want to mm. do that at, yeah. in October because I always pick like a, a movie series to go yeah. through um, and I haven't watched Nightmare on Elm Street films in a while. I might do that this year. It's, mm. they're, they're all... Along with maybe the other some of the other Halloween movies. Yeah, I got through the first six and then stopped. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I, I was like, I need to get through the numbered ones. And then I got to the numbered ones, tried watching Resurrection, I think, is yeah. the next one. And was like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, The Breakfast Club. Yeah, sorry. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's six teens. And is it six? Or is it five? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's around that number. Yeah, five or six. You know, they're in detention and they just get up the shenanigans yeah. it's, it's a feel good movie they're doing the dances yeah mm-hmm. and you've got the uh, you know oh is that uh, Ali Sheedy's character what's her name I, the, I don't know the kinda, not she's not emo because that didn't exist back then but the edgy. the edgy character goth yeah the goth kid yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. very much appealing to me <laughs> <laughs> of course yeah um, moving on from that so yeah that's, that's The Breakfast Club very fun movie okay mm-hmm. if you haven't seen it what the what, f- where the fuck yeah. have you been <laughs> But if you I've like film, home. it's a classic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, so we're now entering the Pixar pick oh. for okay. me because it had to be a Pixar oh, movie. It was fuck. Yep, yeah, two seconds. I'm, I'm adjusting my list right there now. There you go. <laughs> I knew that would happen the moment I said Pixar. Yeah. It was almost Toy Story. I mm-hmm. almost betrayed myself that it wasn't a Toy Story mm-hmm. movie. But I decided not going for favorite or best, going for strictly comfort. Mm-hmm. Monsters, Inc. Yes, oh, because yes. Monsters Inc. Oh <laughs> yeah. What more do I need to say after that, my man? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know what it is specifically, but there's just, just something so comfy yeah. about that. Yeah, whole I I love Monsters Inc. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's because when I was young, that was like the n- probably the new one at the time. Yeah, and I, I remember mean, getting it on VHS. You'd have, you'd have been four. I know that because it came out the yeah. same year. I. I came out <laughs> as a person <laughs> and not in any other sense I, I, I'm saying that now I realised how that sounded the moment I said it um, yeah I've I not re- got any big shocks to reveal here I, I remember getting it on VHS and it had it was blue and it oh, had like yes the, I the, had the same one it had the Disney imprint yeah, on yeah, like yeah, the yeah, bottom yeah. of the, the thing and it was just yeah I just loved that I think that's one of the VHS's I've actually kept I, I also remember them later getting the DVD ah, and this yeah, is the yeah. thing is back then Disney were consistent with like casing and like the style of stuff so the VHS's all looked the same back then in mm. terms of how they were designed mm. they were they were Disney designed mm-hmm. yeah yeah um, and then the DVD was the same and I just remember sitting watching the menu on the DVD yeah. for ages because the menu was so fun because it yeah. was the uh, it's like the doors and stuff like that yeah. that oh, they I use yeah. yeah and it had the theme and oh yeah I love Monsters Inc <laughs> I never had never had the DVD but now I wish I kind of had I wonder if I've got it on Blu-ray upstairs I don't know if they'd have the same menu though nah probably not because mm. like that era of, going to a tangent I know mm. yeah that era of like early DVDs was when they got really experimental. That was when they, they listed the menus as special features on the desk, the boxes. <laughs> yeah. I missed that time. I wish that had continued <laughs> up don't. to today. No, 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 I do. I miss creative menus. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, you, you do get some creative menus, but now they're more kind of function over form. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which makes sense, but yeah. disgust. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Monsters Inc. Yes. Just a big comfort movie. Mm. Can't go wrong with it. Yeah, definitely. Moving on. Yeah, mine is... It, it's it's very much like evident of a time in my life mm-hmm. where I was obsessed with The Hobbit. 
and my uh, favorite Hobbit movie has always been The Desolation of Smell. Really? I yeah. mean, it is the best one, though. Is it? It is. Yes, it is. Yes. I've the other seen... two are really boring. I mean, I've never seen Battle of the Five Armies, but I think both, it gets very, uh, it's, it's a lot. Like, it's, it it's a, a battle, and okay. at some point you're like, get it. <laughs> there <laughs> are it. indeed five armies, yeah. and... They battle. There's like it's like three armies too many. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've I've seen. What's the first one called again? Uh, uh unexpected. Journey. Unexpected journey. I knew journey was in there. Um, I know this because I mm. used to be obsessed. Mm. Like, <laughs> I didn't like the movies per se, but this yeah. is when I was really getting mm -hmm. into like mm -hmm. Tolkien. So. Yeah. I yeah I think both Tolkien, <laughs> unexpected <laughs> journey, and Desolation of Smog are kind of boring. I don't really. Uh, that's why I've never watched the fa the the third movie. Um, you're not missing much. Even though I love The Lord of the Rings. You're not missing much. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> they kill off the best character of Smog like 10 minutes into that movie. Yeah. I was going to say, they like build up Smog that entire movie. He sh he breaks out at the end and that's it. It just ends. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. no, and, like, you can't do that to me. the first like 20 minutes, they shoot him down. Yeah, like, like, that's 30, what I'm saying. He's, he's like gone within like mm -hmm. the first... Yeah little bit of the movie and it's like well fuck i feel like they could have ended like the second one on a high note and kill him then yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had the space for it yeah and like battle of the five armies was very much able to be a shorter movie yeah. i mean really they didn't need three of them in the first place no I they, think they needed two yeah I two think i think that was, that was the original, original plan. Plan. yeah and then guillermo del toro del toro did. <laughs> yeah it... Either, I, I can't remember if he got like creative differences that no he, he just del toroed oh he, just, he, he, just he is left. famous for not finishing shit he starts yeah. oh, okay <laughs> but yeah the second one i i was just obsessed like mostly obsessed with like the elven culture at the time ah. and that was you know the movie that was yeah. in mirkwood and everything I've so that's multiple friends fun. that specifically the elven culture they've been like obsessed Look, with i, I tried to learn culture. it a it's, lot of people are obsessed right. with elves yeah i don't get it <laughs> i'll be honest I don't know, there's something about the gracefulness of it, I suppose, archers. I call it like snootiness. Like fancy archers. I don't know, there's something about it. Maybe I mean, I'm... you have Orlando Bloom. That, that, I, he, I he freaks me out in that movie because oh, yeah, he's so clearly de-aged. Yeah. And his con is yeah. too blue. Oh, yeah. Like, they did a very naturally in Lord of the Rings mm -hmm. where I was like, oh, he's brown eyes, I never knew. And then he just shows up with, like, these fucking headlights, like, yeah. eyes. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not really more to the dwarves in those movies. <laughs> I think the dwarves are very good as well. Yeah. yeah. Best characters in all yeah. of them, other than Smog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is Benedict Cumberbatch crawling just, around in a sound studio. He's having yep. fun. Yeah. You can just feel Let it. It's the most fun, fun you can. Yeah. <laughs> it's the most fun you can feel for yeah, all of those movies. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, Stephen Fry was in that as well. Oh, yes, yeah. he was. He was great. Yeah. He was, but the role he was given, yeah, he was great. He, yeah. he almost felt like something out of Harry Potter rather mm -hmm. than, yeah. He had the, the costume design yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. Did most of the work there. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Uh, my, my next entry? <laughs> yeah. Your next entry. Uh, so, mine's is, I may be cheating here. This one is a series of movies. It's, it's, fine. it's our it. podcast. We this is the, the Resident Evil movies, mm. specifically the ones with uh, Mila Jovovich. Jo jo I, I don't know. No, she doesn't play Jill. No, uh, she plays Alice. Uh, yeah, not a character directly from the games. Okay. Um, sort of. Uh, look, the, it's messy. They're not direct adaptions of the game in that okay. sense. I know they sort of ventured out. Yeah, they do. The first one's kind of based on the first two games, and then the second one's kind of based on three. Mm -hmm. um, like, it has the, the nemesis and stuff, okay. but it's not... Yeah, they're not accurate to the video <laughs> games whatsoever. Um, to be fair, I feel like it'd be hard to do that. Yeah, and beyond the first two, they're not great movies. <laughs> I've heard that as well. The first one is a genuinely like very good movie, even if you've never played the video games. Because uh, like when I first watched them, I had never played a Resident Evil game. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I was like, what, 11 when I first seen Resident Evil. Um, just a really good action horror um, from the 2000s, which I love that yeah. sort of thing. Um, so especially that was a weirdly not high quality time, yeah. but like still a fun time. Yeah, they put a lot of effort into what they were doing. Okay. So it's like, especially when it comes to like stuff like set design and, and all that mm -hmm. sort of thing. And that's something that I loved about Resident Evil. You know, it takes place mostly underground in the the hive facility. Nice. And there's some really nice. Um, apparently, my Amazon order has arrived. 
Oh, no, being dispatched, sorry. Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and um, there it is. Um, but yeah, no, I, I just love these movies. If I want to turn my brain off and just enjoy mm-hmm. an action horror movie, I'll put these on. Um, the last two are really not that great though oh, okay. at all um i think is it retribution and the final chapter definitely the final chapter is not very good was um, it actually the final chapter it was okay. uh, after that they rebooted it ah. and so you now have um resident evil welcome to raccoon city which i haven't seen um and there's now i think going to be a live action series on netflix which they just oh. put a trailer up for i think yesterday ah. um that looks a I don't know the 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 Welcome to Raccoon City one. It just looks like everyone's cosplaying oh. as the characters from the games. Um, That's a shame. Yeah, so I have my concerns for that. That's always a risk with like live action stuff. Yeah, and sometimes it just doesn't work. They they kind of got it mostly right with the Paul. Is it W S Anderson? I think directed them. Um, he kind of got it right. They looked like the character, but they also weren't just in costume you know what i mean yeah yeah um whereas yeah <laughs> welcome raccoon city does not look hopeful <laughs> also doesn't have very good ratings but then again you know these movies didn't have good ratings but i i just enjoy them they're they're fun movies yeah yeah and um, that's what this, these lists are all about yeah they don't have to be great they just have to be fun mm, mm-hmm. i'm probably gonna watch one later tonight now. <laughs> 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 um that's... okay my fourth pick will is a. Uh, Another one that's a little bit out of left field, hopefully not too much, the Spongebob Squarepants movie. Wow, oh, okay. I don't think I've ever seen any of it. It's a pretty good, it's it. the end of when Spongebob was good. Oh. Like, because after that, I think that's when the quality Is this the one with David Hasselhoff? Yes. Yeah, uh, that one feels I've like a fever clip. dream to me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's kind <laughs> of perfect, that scene. I love that scene, because he really does just come the fuck out of nowhere. Because, like, the context is that, like... It's not even until you're older that you realise it's a Baywatch reference. Yeah. I, I swear, I only realised that the last time I watched yeah. it. <laughs> like, the, the context is that they're... Well, I mean, they're, they're above the sea, because mm-hmm. they're in this place mm-hmm. called Shell City. They've, that's where they've been aiming to go through the whole movie. Yeah. They get there, they have a, a sort of emotional scene, to be honest, like, right before then. Mm-hmm. I'm not giving context for that one because I can't in good justice. <laughs> anyway, they make it out. They grab what they need to grab. They're like, okay, how do we get home? Patrick fucks over the thing that they were originally going to use to get home. So they're like, well, f- okay, okay, we're stuck. What are we going to do? And then suddenly, David Hasselhoff. <laughs> he just runs in. It feels wow. like weirdly natural though. Like, yeah, he'd like, be yeah. the it's guy the style. that just kind of... Hi. Yeah, yeah, it fits the tone of the movie. Uh huh. It fits the era as well. Yeah. yeah. Hasselhoff would just appear in anything, yeah, really. Because he was David Hasselhoff. Yeah. Yeah. And then he just turns into, like, a human boat. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And they ride his back, and that's it. That movie, I think I may have watched it when I was sick one time, and that can either be really good for a movie or really bad for it. Oh, watching that movie when sick <laughs> has to be like a. Like, it an was an actual fever dream. It was an actual fever dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't. I think of that movie and I don't get good vibes. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. The SpongeBob movie was a good, great movie. Mm. Back when SpongeBob was really good, mm. oh. and like a sort of goodbye to that era. Yeah, really. mm. And I love classic nice. SpongeBob. Kind of like the Simpsons movie. Yeah, it's a goodbye. It's a good, sim- good. Which is, it's weird because it came out when the Simpsons had already begun to decline. Yeah, like. I'll go into a Simpsons tangent just really quickly. <laughs> middle, just a short one. The sort of yeah. middle era of the Simpsons mm-hmm. from like the, t- the early to, th- to mid 2000s mm-hmm. is like, I like that era, but you can tell the show is declining in quality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where like, the mo- where like the movie sort of brings it back up a mm-hmm. little bit. It's still of that era yeah. of the Simpsons, but like the last sort of goodbye to actual quality mm-hmm. before it just goes into what the Simpsons is now. Which I'd rather not discuss. At least <laughs> yeah, in this episode. I don't want to get into the substance. <laughs> anyway, uh, the SpongeBob Square Ca- SquarePants movie. If you've not seen it, would recommend, mm. especially if you somehow love classic SpongeBob and haven't seen it. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. My final comfort my movie. Final pick. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Right. I don't think you guys will have heard of this. No. Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. No. Nope. Uh, starring Anna Kendrick. Which is always. I thought you were going to say Anakin Skywalker. (laughs) (laughs) 
plot twist. <laughs> but like, like it's just your way of saying Hayden Christensen's on this movie. I mean, there is like a really good shit movie with Hayden Christensen, like it's about like pizza. What? Huh? Like it's it's I think it's called Little Italy, and what? Um, I will send you guys a video about this movie because it is Please, hilarious. Yeah. Dude. Okay, yeah, we it's, need this. It's like Romeo and Juliet, but imagine pizza. Oh, restaurants. that would. <laughs> what? The better Star Wars prequels. <laughs> Tangent. Cut, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just Mr. What I, say, I just, almost wish you were talking about this movie now. <laughs> yeah, send us that right now, by the way, because only yes. ones to be like. At the time of, like, we're, sorry, <clears throat> behind the scenes thing, I know, but, like, yeah. Obi-Wan is currently streaming on Disney yeah. Plus right mm. now as we're recording this, and I am in the vibe for prequel oh, yeah. era yeah. Star Wars, <laughs> so send me that movie. I will send that. I, I believe it's called Little Italy. Okay. To those okay. Listening. Anyway, Otherwise, tangent. you'll find it. Mm. Mr. Wright starring Anna Kendrick and Sam Rockwell. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. Like, best two people to have in a movie. Really? For this type of movie, it fits so perfectly. <laughs> I mean, the most I know about Sam Rockwell, being completely honest, is that he's the best part of Iron Man 2. Yeah. Which yeah. is the worst MCU movie. Yeah. But sorry, <laughs> another tangent. Um, so it's basically about Anna Kendrick. She's like, a lonely girl, she just got fired from her job or something. Like, her life is down. She meets this guy, Sam Rockwell. He's um, a hitman. Nice. But very casual about it. And, like, he's being hunted because, of course, he is for something. And he's, they're just casually going on dates and he's just beating up this guy like behind the restaurant and it comes back and sorry, just had to beat up a few guys. And she's like, oh yeah, yeah, oh, must be so difficult. Like fully, oh, he's just joking. No. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, duh. <laughs> like no one would actually do this. <laughs> and this goes on for a bit. They're like walking in a park, someone's trying to shoot him. So he quickly what like, the moves her out of the way. It's a very wholesome movie. Sounds, it doesn't sound it. This, no, this <laughs> sounds like a better Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. it sounds a lot like Mr. and Mrs. Smith. But like a more like comedy-esque type. Which makes it better. Yeah. <laughs> I say that, I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> I, I haven't seen it either. No, and um, yeah, you know, at some point, of course, she finds out like, oh, you weren't, you weren't fucking joking, huh? No. <laughs> You're... You're really. I've committed many war crimes. <laughs> yeah, and of course she gets kidnapped, because of course. And no. then in the end, she goes fucking crazy as well. And they're just two crazy ass assassins in the end. Oh, oh wow! And what I, a beautiful love like, story. Like I explaining it, I can't do it justice. I feel like I've been on a journey already. <laughs> yeah, it's just these two particular actors that like they both have such good energy and mm -hmm. it matches each other so well to me yeah. that it's just the vibes of this movie make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, if anyone ever asked me to recommend a movie, that's the one, mm -hmm. like, for comfort's sake. Not like, oh, tell me a good movie to watch. I'm never yeah. gonna say this. <laughs> if anyone ever wants, like... No, you just, just tell them about yeah. uncut gems and make them anxious and depressed. <laughs> Look, it's an experience. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Yeah. You want a movie that's going to, well, you know, just... This was also you, after you recommended Dallas Buyers Club. Good movie. Yeah, fucking depressing, though. Should I give warnings that movies are depressing? Yes. All, most no, but maybe good movies I recommend will be depressing. because Yeah, what I, I figured that out. <laughs> maybe don't give me two of them in a row. Yeah. You should warn me if you're ever them. recommending movies to me. Yeah. I don't know. I might not be is. on a good day when I watch them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Mr. Right, my favorite comfort movie. I think mm. I've seen it well over like 10 times. Jesus. Yeah. It's very sad. That's it. <laughs> Send <laughs> me this sad. list of your comfort movies, by the way, because now there's yeah. multiple yeah, ones I want to look up. Same. I will, once we're done. I'm yeah, yeah, after yeah. the episode. Um, so my final comfort movie, which has changed three times since we started recording <laughs> this. Um, One of which was my fault, and I apologize. Yes. Yeah. Originally, it was Weathering With You and Your Name. I'm not going to cover those because there's going to be an Anime Lane episode about those. Mm -hmm. um, then it was Top Gun. <laughs> Actually, I did notice it was Top Gun yeah. earlier. Yeah. It's now Ratatouille, though. Oh, um, yes. I the musical. love that. What? No. <laughs> no. No. No, it's a pandemic thing. People were going crazy on TikTok, just making songs that would be in a Ratatouille musical. And then, like, a Zoom musical happened. We're Why? not going into this here. No, I'm leaving it at that. Yeah. Beautiful piece of film. Well, I know what I'm finding later. <laughs> <laughs> Along with all the other stuff? Yeah. Probably. Um, the actual film, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. so Ratatouille, I mean, if you haven't seen it, 
fuck the are fuck you doing? Are you? Yeah. Like, either the beginning or the renaissance. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's the end of the Disney renaissance, isn't it? No, but the renaissance of Ratatouille itself. It oh, had its right. own okay. comeback. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Uh, you really confused me for yes, a second. I yeah, I was like, <laughs> Pixar? I mean, they were pretty good before that as yeah, well. Yeah, they've been consistent. It's oh, just yeah. kind of more recently that their films have been a bit mm. like, like bland, I guess. Yeah, that's what I've been They've feeling. been much less impactful, I've noticed. Yeah. And like, I, There's going to be a lot of people thinking, older. like, oh, yeah, no, you're adults. But yeah. like, no. Pixar has an, an effect on adults as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, fucking Coco ripped my heart out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but anyway, Ratatouille, you know, guy gets a rat friend, rat friend pulls his hair and he, he, he cook good. Uh, he sure do. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's just a warm comfort movie yeah. just from that already. Yeah. And there's the ghost of a, a fat French chef. What it's more magical. Yeah, yeah, it's a magical movie. Um, and but he... it's French. Uh, that's the only point of improvement to me. It's like French. the that... entire basis of the movie. They could have done it in Italy with different dishes and it wouldn't have made a difference. No, I don't think they could have made the fun of Ratatouille, though. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that one thing it's, just yeah, totally... It's fundamental now. <laughs> I'm just thinking, rat scary? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound as appealing. No, there's no Italian dish that would work with the word no. rat. <laughs> You're just going to have to accept the fact that this masterpiece of a movie is very French. Yeah. Yes. Also, please tell me you knew that Ratatouille was Ratatouille yes. before. Just because you're like yeah. rat sketty and I'm like, are you trying to make a pun on spaghetti? Like, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's got nothing else to work no. with. She's clinging to hope and yeah. it's failing her. <laughs> um, anyway. That's the, is that the third episode now that the French have been... I feel like every episode we have to mention, I have a general distaste. Yeah. For <laughs> is this our, oh my God, they killed Kenny? Oh Probably, my god, she yeah. insulted the French. <laughs> it's not personal. It's just nationwide. <laughs> it sounds you know? very personal. <laughs> it's not any particular French person. It's Still, the, though, the, the amount of yeah. anger. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we should get into it. No, 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 no. So Ratatouille... I'm going to make it sound more malicious than it actually yeah. is when I say it like that. <laughs> um, so Ratatouille, very fun, wholesome. Mm -hmm. Guy gets the girl in the end movie. Mm -hmm. Makes me hungry. <laughs> I had, yeah, I've never had that with it. Nah, it makes me hungry. Really? Yeah. Mm. I guess none I mean, of the... it's all about food. Yeah, mm. I mean, I know it's all about food, but none of the dishes look that appealing to me, so I've just never... Oh, that French song. <laughs> Can you stop? <laughs> there is literally a scene where one of them eats thrown away funky looking cheese. Yum. Mm. <laughs> Fucking corpse. <laughs> Fucking <nut. laughs> I don't have better points of references, so I'm just going. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't really have much else to say about it. It's Ratatouille. Yeah, it's Ratatouille. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, my final pick and the final pick overall yeah. for this episode. Mm -hmm. uh, the anime that I've picked here, which is, it's not as interesting as you think it is. Oh. Pokemon 2000. Okay. Mm. Because uh, not the best one. And it is. No, it's not. It is. It's oh, the first God. movie. It's the first no, movie. No, it's not. No. <laughs> Pokemon 2000. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Look, that one is just like me, the best comfort adventure movie. Mm. Like, it's hard to describe without sounding like cringy as hell. <laughs> but it's you. You've got. You've got a kid with the world on his shoulders. <laughs> there are things he needs to do, a journey he needs to go on. It is so fucking just cool yeah. to ten-year-old me. You're describing yeah. literally every Pokemon I movie. I know. I don't care. <laughs> this is my one. <laughs> I love it. I. It's like I said. It's hard to describe, but there's just. I love this movie so much, mm -hmm. and like if it, it's like. If I'm watching anything mm -hmm. like Pokemon related, that's like the gold standard for mm -hmm. me in terms of enjoyability. Yeah. If it doesn't yeah. reach that, then that Pokemon, like specifically the anime, obviously, yeah. is like just trash. To yeah, me. that's fair. I just, I just love this movie. It, it picks me up on like a bad day. Yeah. That, that's what comfort movies yeah. generally do. Yeah, I just mm, love it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the Pikachu short that plays at like the beginning because that's just adorable. Which one's that? Uh, it's like he ends up in like this sort of weird big forest thing he meets other Pokemon 
There's a storm at one point that he has to fight off. Look, the Pikachu shorts get kind of weird. <laughs> I, like, I honestly didn't plot, know they did. But Pikachu they're also shorts. very adorable. Mm -hmm. It's You just sort of got to watch them. There's like okay. a, probably a compilation of them probably, on YouTube yeah. somewhere. Mm -hmm. This one's great though, I like this one. <laughs> Pokemon 2000's a great movie. If you've not watched it, watch it. Mm. <laughs> Even if you're not a weeb. <laughs> I think we covered it in the first episode of Anime Lane uh, that yeah. you two don't generally consider Pokemon anime. I mean, it, it is, it's but one like, of those. I, I don't want to call it a gray area, but like, I if someone was only into Pokemon. Yeah, but like, yeah. there's people who only watch Dragon Ball. And yeah, they but I, be... I see that kind of as the same category. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, but yeah. like, both of them are anime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's weird. It's, it's like yeah. they've gotten so mainstream that mm -hmm. they're not like part of. And the subculture? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's no, really I get what you weird. mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think that's us. Yeah, yeah that's us. God. Yeah, so thank you for joining us on this episode of NAP, uh, where we talked about our comfort movies. I don't I think hope we you feel learned. Comforted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't think we learned anything about each other. No, <laughs> no but it, it was fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm now going to go watch most of Melina's <laughs> suggestions because I've heard, <laughs> never heard of most of them. Yeah. Uh, they all sound entertainingly shit. <laughs> I'm going to yep. go home and watch Monsters Inc. <laughs> So yes, uh, join us in the next episode where we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Fuck yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.